Hey, Ben from LNGC Systems here. Today we are going to be looking at opening from and saving documents directly to SharePoint. With 2013, 2016 and 2019 versions of Microsoft Office, it is now possible to save directly to a document library or OneDrive location. Let's start with saving a new document directly to your SharePoint site. First, let's open up one of our Microsoft products. I already have Microsoft Word open today, but this process is exactly the same throughout the Microsoft Office suite. Now let's create a blank document, and I'm just going to add some text. You cannot upload documents to SharePoint without content in them. Okay, now we're going to click File, Save As, and now we will be greeted with two options which may not be familiar to you, OneDrive and Sites. OneDrive is your personal OneDrive that comes with your company's Office 365 account. We will touch more on this in later videos. For today, we are going to be clicking on Sites. Now we're going to click on the Reach Team site. Here we will find our document library that we touched on in greater detail in a previous video. As you can see, it is a very familiar layout and we can see our folders and documents that we've been referencing and using. I'm going to select the sales folder and now we're going to give this document a name and click save. If there are any required tags or columns you'll be prompted to fill out the required information before the document is saved correctly. Now we are back to the main document you'll notice at the top of the document it states save to SharePoint. This means that any further changes made on this document will now be tracked and things like version history and user collaboration are now possible. Now we will close this document and reopen our Word software. Notice how now in recent items that our SharePoint saved document is accessible. However, we are going to click open. Notice that we are seeing the same option as before when saving. Now we are going to navigate to the sales folder. It's picked up where we've left off. Now we are going to open the document. Once again, notice the top of the document references that it's saved to SharePoint. There is also a way to open files directly to your Office applications from SharePoint. Let's go to our SharePoint homepage. Now let's open our document library. I'm going to click on the Sales folder again, and then let's click on the test document we created earlier. By default, it opens in an online version of the Word application. Now we click Edit in Word. We are now prompted to open the Word application from our Google Chrome browser. Let's click open. As you can see, our Word document is now open directly from our SharePoint site. We have that the document was last saved at 3.43 p.m. and it is saved into the SharePoint platform. Today we have covered saving documents from Office applications directly to SharePoint, opening documents directly from SharePoint and editing documents in either the online or desktop Microsoft applications. I hope you are excited for your SharePoint transition and be sure to reach out to us for any questions or assistance you require. Thank you very much.